Yes, I'll show how to write on the whiteboard. First, you should write a standing line. Above the standing line, you should write a sleeping line. Finished! Chapter letter T. It's so simple, right? Hi kids. So today we are learning the capital letter T. It's very simple, right? So first you have to write the standing line and above that you have to write a sleeping line. That is the capital letter T. Now in four grid lines you have to write the capital letter T in the first three lines. Okay. So that is the capital letter T. Now I will show everything now observe carefully. First we have to write a standing line. So above the standing line you have to write a sleeping line. So the sleeping line should be like it should be middle of the standing line perfectly you have to write. So standing line and a sleeping line. If you remember if we write the sleeping line downwards also what is that letter? Yes, that's the capital letter I. So, if we remove the downward sleeping line, that's nothing but the capital letter T. You got it right? Nice. So, see the hand here. It is showing a standing line and above that a sleeping line. So, what is this letter called? It's the capital letter T. Got it? Nice. Now, in the four grid line, the standing line should be in first three lines and the sleeping line should be on the first red line. Okay, that is why you have to write in the four grid line book. Standing with sleeping in the first three lines you have to write like this. Got it? Now we will see some words with T. T for tomato. T for tomato. You know this vegetable very well because almost in all curries everyone will use this tomato. Yes, even if you this you can eat raw also. It will be very uh, nice taste, right? So it's a glossy red or yellow pulpy edible fruit. Now T for tiger. T for tiger. You know the tiger, right? Yes. So, tiger is a large solitary cat with a yellow brown coat striped with black native to the forests of Asia. There will be different types of tigers. You will see them in zoo. T for tongue. T for tongue. Tongue is a soft mobile part in the mouth. So, mainly tongue is used for tasting, right? So, whatever the things we are eating, you will taste, it's very spicy, it's very sweet. So, all those things you will be getting by the help of tongue. The next part, what will be there in your mouth? Tooth, right? It's a hard white object inside the mouth used for biting and chewing. So, this tooth is useful for biting and chewing. Tongue is for tasting. Yes. The next one is T for toothbrush. T for toothbrush. It is a small brush with long handle used for cleaning the teeth. How many of you will teeth brush your teeth twice a day? They are very very good. Yes. So you have to brush your teeth twice. Then only it will be your teeth will be very healthy. There will be no issue with your teeth. Early morning and also before going to bed you have to brush. T for top. T for top. Top is a toy that spin on a point when turned round by a string. So it is uh, previously it's a very famous game. Okay. So it will be spinning like anything. It's a very enjoyable game. You can buy it. Top. The next one is. T for thermometer. T for thermometer. Where will you is? So if you are getting fever right, what your mama will do? Thermometer will be placed. Yes. So it is used for measuring your body temperature. 
so that is an medical instrument the next one t for thief t for thief thief is a person who steals another person's property especially by stealth and without using force if you are not asking any one's property it may be pencil eraser also if you are taking without permission it's nothing but you are stealing something you are a thief so it's very very bad habit whatever you want you have to ask and take even from your mother and father also okay that's the very good habit and you have to follow that okay so be like a good persons t for tent t for tent tent is a portable shelter that is used outdoors and is made of cloth and is held up with poles and ropes so this one uh, persons who will be traveling to trekking or some other places where there will be no houses this will be carrying with them and they will be keeping like this as this is made with cloth it's not that much a weight okay they can carry easily so with the help of poles and ropes they will keep like this t for train t for train you know this train right so if you move from one city to another city so there will be so many public transports right train is the one public transport okay t for tree t for tree you know the tree right so if you plant more plants and they were becoming the trees it's very good for our health only yes cutting the trees is very bad habit and uh, that means just we are losing our health so t trees trees are very very important plant the small plants they will become the big trees now we will see some activities circle the capital letter t what is the first letter that's the capital letter c right what is the next one i that is the capital letter t so circle f the next one t again circle what is the next one j l p and again t got it circle the picture start with t okay shall we start what is the first one just know i told what is this tent so t for tent circle this is igloo right it is in the ice what is this one that is a tub right yes t for tub what is this this is rhinoceros so it's with r tomato so t for tomato what is this one this is table t for table this one t for telephone now everyone is having cell phones but previously telephone is the one even now also it's like a landline some people will have landlines that is called telephone rabbit and the last one is tiger so t for tiger so total so many are there now drawing time draw t for tent are you all ready okay so first write the capital letter t okay now from the middle draw a left slanting line and a right slanting line touching that sleeping line okay now so draw the two standing lines like this and covered with a sleeping line got it now there will be a window you can draw the another one same thing like this okay it will be like tent in the middle you can draw a what is that so in the middle again they are drawing but is this made of cloth right yeah it's small window like this 
and what you can do the tent will be on the ground right so you can draw the ground with the brown color or whatever it may be okay you can draw like this the tent color is your wish whatever the color you want you can draw with your favorite colors just say i'm drawing with the coloring with the blue and pink okay see how i am drawing just i changed it with pink you got it it's very easy right you can also try it's not that much difficult and you can color it it's very nice so after the class learn and practice letter t draw the picture of tent and color it and also learn the new words with correct pronunciation that's very very important okay bye bye friends have a nice day